The working length of your rotary is the length of the seal when it is actually installed. That means it's collapsed into the space that the pump allows it to work in. This puts a preload on the spring. We have to determine what that size is in order to figure out what size spring that needs to be used for your seal. Each shaft size has an approximate poundage that it takes uh, in order to achieve the proper load on the seal. We do that by having a scale, bathroom scale, UPS scale. We're going to compress the seal down until it hits the proper poundage and take a measurement of it. So imagine this to be a scale. I'm going to push this seal down until we get to about 24 pounds and then I'm going to take the measurement on it and that is going to be what the working length is. The other way you can do it is to look to see what a standard working length is for that shaft size. It may be for this here it's like inch and a sixteenth or inch and five eighths. You can set Set your measuring device to one of those, press it down, and see if you reasonably are close to what the poundage is. If not, you can try the next one, say the, the longer one, the inch and five eighths. Do the same thing. Now in this case, it's pretty obvious. The longer working length, there's no squeeze on this seal. This here is a shorter working length seal.